there. The Black Yoshi coming in from Seth. So I'm I'm kind of curious what the logic is from Seth. Is it just if Bayo is on screen, I'm not going to play Yoshi? Maybe. Yoshi is a monster in teams. Yeah. Don't sleep on yeah. the dinosaur. Smash and attack hitboxes are pretty huge. Mm -hmm. uh, up air actually mm, is a sleeper yeah. broken move. Yeah, it is. Yeah, There's it is. just they they printed characters that have better you up fast airs. Fast fall and then up air. Yeah. Yeah. Fast falling up air to up the, tilt up tilt. The hitbox the hit box, like uh, shift or the hurtbox shift. Excuse me. On it comes Yoshi out frame up five. Mm -hmm. It's insanely fast. Uh, Yoshi with rage is actually a monster. And we talked so much about Yoshi, we didn't even get a chance to see him for two games they played on stream. So let's get to it. Okay, tap down B right away. Seth's got tricks. Oh, tricks is oh, maybe the best word okay, to describe okay. Seth. The movement after he hit that shield with the fair. I didn't think he was going to be able to drift back far enough to make that safe. That's really interesting. I'm going to have to watch for that. Yoshi has the fastest aerial drift in the game, which makes tricks like that okay, fair. That move you were talking about, he's up, Aaron. Ooh, close. Looking to land a reverse and air to fair. That's another crazy one. Yeah. But okay, that good job from Scorpio just to run in and really disrupt it. It really looked like Yoshi was going to go off on the Greninja there. Sometimes you just need to reset the momentum. Ooh, okay, so there's the there's the up smash combo off of Robin's throws. You can do it off forward throw, too. Yeah, the forward throw may be a little easier. What? What a read! That was jab, nuts! Jab 1, 2, roll forward smash, yeah? <laughs> That's pretty slick. I mean, no reason why that shouldn't work. And in doubles, you feel pressured in that corner. Mm -hmm. Get out in any situation. Bayonetta is really good at putting up giant Ooh. hitboxes. And that Greninja is dead? SD. That's an SD and a half. Okay, living though. What looked like a good situation just because of how... Look at Scorpio right. stock. He's great. It's just Shinjobi is having a I hard mean, this, time of it. This is doable. This is still doable because uh, Steven is dead to a lot of things here. Yes, and then that's the socks are tied. Scorpio is such a good stock man. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, what has he got off this? He's got a whole lot of nothing, but still getting back Just to stage. Just really useful to buy the stage control. Look at how much space they have now to land this down air and continue this pressure on the Scorpio in the corner. Got two 1v1s to watch here right now. Yeah, Yoshi keeping on a great edge guard. Ooh. Try to sneak in and kill the Greninja, but not enough yet. That would have been a good trade for Green Team if that had killed, but as it is, Frog Sage has got to feel pretty good about how they brought this back. Yeah, that Yoshi up air sets up out of throws really well, too. Kind of like the Robin up air. Not as powerful, Ooh, but it's super powerful. Good. Up smash, good take. I was sneaking out the Thoron. I like the idea because he was going to probably lose the charge no matter what. If he had died. For sure. Ooh, that's a team kill. Yeah. It's now two stops to four and a pretty You know, we haven't seen Shinjobi and Scorpio playing this human bracket in a long time, and it's kind of showing. Oh, really? They haven't been playing the Greninja, Robin? Well, no, they just haven't been. Oh, they just haven't been entering. There, there just hasn't been a tournament where they've both been at because Scorpio has his army drill stuff sometimes. And yeah. Shinjobi doesn't drive, you know? It's a problem. I don't know. I mean, they can, they can clean it up. Yep. That's a slick. Oh, that was slick. That was really slick. Yeah, it does really look like the same kind of motion where, you know, fastball up air. That's absolutely what Yoshi's going to be looking for out of uh, Bayo back throw, too. Bayo throws are pretty friendly for that as well. Yep. Ooh. The forward throw, more so. The back throw can send really far. Okay, good SDI there from uh, Shinjobi. Ooh, no follow-up. Oh, good. Just patience from Scorpio to find that punish onto Yoshi. That was like a good 32% or something. Yeah. Off of just one arc thunder to uh, forward smash. No 11 sword. Yep, he's going to live. And this this comeback is real right now. At three, though. Wow. Behind to the corner. Oh, he had... What? He had a book, then he got the 11 sword back, and the book still killed off the top. Because I was like, he's still not going to be able to kill because he doesn't have Levenswood, but he had the book. That's nice. That's slick. Even stocks, but these are two very unhealthy blue team members. Never mind, we got a 2v1. The first stock taken out here by the Yoshi. Yep, big damage here. Ooh, I thought he might try and dare him, honestly. But that's uh, almost too middle. Might get a uh, Witch Twisted if you miss that. Even in this 1v2, the, the Frog's H team needs to be very patient. Yes. Because a witch time could happen at any time. And down and tilt is terrifying. For if you're Greninja. patient around witch time, you can just get the, the mileage back that you need. So Maybe. patience is just going to win out right now. 
Uh, again, no left. Miscommunication, yeah. I think. See ya. Ooh. That's the confirm. With the rage, that mm -hmm. finished it off. It looked like it almost missed, actually. I've only seen that miss <laughs> the three or four times yeah. I saw him do that in the last set. So. Well, not not the hit one to hit two, but hit one itself almost just missed there. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was like right at the tip of that move. And that's exactly what you want, actually, as uh, as Greninja. That makes it a lot easier to make sure that hit two is going to confirm. So Frog Sage is going to overcome a little bit of their sloppiness. Yeah. Find their way into that game Basically, one Basically, what was it, like 26% SD from Shinjobi? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, other than that, man, they really turned it on in the second half of that game. Mm -hmm. And Scorpio stock tanking can't can't be forgotten there. Scorpio stock tank is one of the best in this building. Yep. And when Shinjobi shared stock there, Scorpio was still at three. So uh, that, that makes it way easier to share stock. Because mm -hmm. like sometimes you're like, should I share stock if I'm at like 90? I'm like no, you, yeah. it's pretty much always the correct choice is share stock. Yeah. If you yeah. ask me. But I mean, especially when your partner is three stock. When stocks, your partner's though, at three, yeah, no it's like okay, you're good. So the Smash Bros. we go here for game two. Uh, the Steven Shark Seth team was pretty close to pulling yeah, it out. I appreciate this. Yoshi's aerial drift covers a ton of this stage. Heel slide, as we saw, covers like half of it. And you know, Bayo can just make shenanigans happen at any given time. Ooh, going for footstool stuff here in doubles. That's really hard to get because the teammate is aware and available. It should never get that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not sneaky at all. Yoshi had that smelled out from a mile away. Give him the schnoz. Now Greninja's again stuck in the corner here. Look at this edge guard. But the egg! Ooh. That's one of Yoshi's flaws in doubles is those eggs can sometimes hit your teammate if you're not too careful. Let's see. Steven Shark has been working on this Greninja for a while, but not able to really do anything with it. They're kind of just knocking on. I think they want to knock away Scorpio Vertical and then egg. go for a one versus two on Greninja. Yep. Scorpio is so violent. Like, he's obviously clearly the back line. If you mess up, you get hit by an auto cancel smash attack aerial. So just try to rack this damage in on Greninja. Ooh, I like the attempt to catch a jump by Seth there with the up there. Okay. Trading stocks. Working out for green team right now. But, you know, we were saying that last game too. All right, good job there being disruptive from Greninja. And he's what do we got here? Stage? No, yeah. no pressure. I like that though. Seth knew. No, we got a we got a two v one. We'll just take that while he's got to get over here. And then Bayonetta runs up and back airs Yoshi in the face and kills him. Sure. Still a uh, one stock lead though coming up with the green team. And Shinjobi's still looking for the uh, the footstool stuff. I wonder if Yoshi's aerial mobility makes that tough though. It, it looks does. like he just couldn't cover the drift. What was that Arc Thunder doing on Yoshi's shield? It looked like it just went just through it. it. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Not a matchup we see a ton. Uh -huh. Oh, the down air going to work and take nice. the stock yeah. at less than 80. That was a very favorable Smashville platform there for Green Team. Ooh, the upper catch, though. No Smashville platform necessary here. Green and Team very in this. Very in this. That team kill stock may be coming oh, back like to that Green Team if this Yoshi dies soon. Steven's good. It looked like he had a little bit of a tech flub on the recovery. Whoa! Fully charged? <laughs> and it is even. I love that setup that Seth does with uh, Nair, Jab, 1, Down, B. Mm. That doesn't look like it should damage. be real. Jab, 1 is one of those moves that I laughed so the most plus. when this game came out. It's so good. Frame 3 leads to shenanigans. Steven's got to hold the stock. Oh, but oh, he's beautiful. not. Joe goes down, and now it is the. Gr I'm sorry, not the Greninja. It's that was be the such Robin a good egg. Low. Not hitting uh, Scorpio's shield there. Nowhere to go. Beautiful edge guarding by Seth. Yeah, these guys can't sleep, man. And this set deserves a game three, so yes, I'm glad we're gonna yes, get one. Yes, it absolutely does. Let's see what comes of it. It is going to be the counter pick here for Frog Sage. Do you know what stages they do prefer? I don't think they were the ones they that picked down. Battlefield last set, right? They're going to run it right back. Ooh, bold. Yeah, I, I don't. I think unforgiving. I don't think they want that this small cramped stage here. Honestly, I think they would want more space. But Seth also thrives with space. Sure. They just cover so much of the space above this stage, though. 
Oh, okay, that was almost a huge, another huge SD for yeah. Joby, but he will make it back. Things slow down after a little bit of a, a crazy yeah, right. opening 10 seconds. Things Scorpio, through all of that, had, was at 7%, 25 seconds into the game. But here He's we go. so good at just not taking damage. Yep. He knows his role on this team. Double heel slide, let's go. We're seeing Yoshi actually, he's like anti-airing with the forward smash a bit. There yeah. is intangibility on the nose, which can come in handy in these situations where there's just craziness going on. It's like one of Yoshi's best tools of dealing with like a sword. It's not really super viable in singles because of how punishable it is. Absolutely, Seth's egg placement is amazing. Yep. Like uh, on the other side of the stage there, he, he did an egg and grabbed the ledge just as the egg hit the ledge. Oh, but gets wow. the untackable, oh. and that's the first oh. stock again going to the green team. Okay. This time, Seth focuses on the egg. Yeah, man. Seth's mix up out of the egg lays are also sublime. And that double jump read. Who's jumping? Yoshi is. That's Scorpio's line. Yoshi's all over it. Mm -hmm. That up air is a hell of a move, man. Yeah. I'm telling you. Don't sleep. Okay. That up air is yep. also pretty good. There's their team combo. Pretty nice. And if, uh, yeah, this this Bayonetta is not going to want to get back thrown either. Ooh. That was good DI. You do want to hold down there. Hold down. Just just make it so that the up air has to hit you as far as possible, right? Oh, not able to really convert off of that which time too badly, but. Yep, there it is. Is that off jab three that time? Yeah. Angles. That's how good their setups are. They know exactly how to set up off of every move, I believe. And these guys have played together so much, they know just from the trajectory, the initial trajectory of the first couple of frames. Oh yeah, he's going to be here. Mm -hmm. yeah, she oh just yeah, shoot those guns. Eggs on delivery. <laughs> oh, ooh, but that egg is going to combo. All right, Bayonetta's got reversals. No worries. Oh, soft hit of the back air. Leads to the forward air from Yoshi. Great pressure. And the dash attack going to break up that back throw too. Jab 3 from Robin. I don't know if it's exactly safe on shield, but it's really hard to shield grab it because Jab 3 does a lot of shield push. This Another up air, yep. I thought that was going to be a little too stale, but it does win out in the end. That's an aerial smash attack, my dude. Good air dodge coming out here. Scorpio's staying alive, and he's going to get this Thor on in. Not, not, not enough to kill, kill Yoshi. Yoshi thick. Quite. Ooh, all right. Frog Sage on their last stocks. Let's see what Seth can do with this 154%. Yeah, too much uh, knockback on that Jab 3 that time. They were looking for the same setup. But he didn't DI that right. You got to hold behind Greninja. Behind. So you facing right, you hold to yep, left. You hold towards center in that case. I did not know that. I always thought it was all the way. Um, it, it's different with all of these uh, kill up throws. So you got to look at the angle. But that one slightly pushes. That's behind. shield break. And the forward throw away. That's going to buy this one versus two for the green team again. Bayonetta, I do believe, is at checkmate. So let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. It's going to be Yoshi's job to disrupt that. Mm -hmm. That witch time so good. I think Scorpio thought he might have had, had the weight. Wait. Oh, looking for the up air out of the witch twist. Yeah, Scorpio held way down there. Now both characters are probably in this checkmate percent. Mm -hmm. Considering the rage. Yeah, and Bayo's air dodge. Uh, and the way that she flails when she's in hit stun makes that, that true for quite a while. But that art called fire out. was a little yeah, Not even called out, that was just a reaction. Yeah. Delivered on the silver platter once again. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the big upset. That's a huge upset, yeah. I mean, honestly... I'm not surprised that Seth and Steven are doing work, right? Mm -hmm. Seth, we've known, is a great doubles player. Steven has done some uh, really great work teaming with Cookie Tick here. Their Bayo Ike team is really nasty, oh, yeah. as you might imagine. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a, a, by far the biggest upset of our doubles bracket so far, right? Yeah. Upset moving into top eight, winner's side. I believe it's then going to be them versus Fallen's team. It should be, yeah. yes. It'll, oh. That'll set up Steven Shark and Seth yeah. versus Fallen and Cookie Tick. Cookie that'll be the X teammates. Cookie Tick and Steven, a little bit of a team kill. And they're going to know what each other wants to do in teams, mm -hmm. too. So that'll be really interesting, actually. They might go for the Ike Smother. Mm -hmm. 
that might be an optimal strategy. So it looks like while we were waiting, oh, okay, Josh okay. is going to tell no, us. Like real talk, the Ike smother. 